You want to learn how to draw this adorable little field mouse? Well, then you are going to need something to doodle on. You are going to need something to create your doodle with. You are going to need something to erase any mistakes that you might make and a marker to outline your doodle when you are done. And when you have all of those supplies, the crayons, the color pencils, the markers, or the paint, we can get coloring in this adorable little doodle. So grab all that stuff and let's get started. get started. So our paper is going to go tall and skinny and I'm going to put a paper underneath so I don't ruin anything that I have behind or ruin a waste a sheet of paper from behind my book. So I'm going to have my paper tall and skinny and we are going to draw our little mouse, our little field mouse, and I'm going to start with a curved line at the top of his head. So a nice small curved line. And then I'm gonna come down, I'm gonna skip where his ears would go, and I'm going to come down with a curve, go around, and then come back up. So I have a gap on each side for where his ears are gonna be placed, because field mice have those cute ears. And I'm going to go on each side now, and I'm gonna go up and around with a nice big oval shape. So I wanna give my little mouse some like just abnormally large ears. So he's got his nice big ears. And now I'm gonna kind of come up on each side with kind of a little zigzag shape. And then I'm gonna curl all the way around. And when I get to the other part, I wanna get kind of closer to the base of his ear. So that way I just have a little part that'll be colored, the color of my mouse, like the gray, but it'll kind of fade away over there. I'll add a couple little extra squiggles here for some fur. So now I've got my little mouse's head. Look how cute he is. I'm gonna give him a teeny tiny nose down here at the bottom. So very small little rectangle, rectangle triangle. I forgot my shapes. And then I'm gonna give him two little tiny eyes. So I'm gonna go ahead and just do two little dots for his eyes. And then I can go ahead and give him a couple whiskers. Just give him two whiskers on each side, nice and long. So he looks just about as cute as he can be. All right, now I am going to draw his body. So we're gonna do a curved line, just kind of like we did the panda um, in the on the bamboo. We're gonna do a curved line for his back and his tush, and then I'm gonna curl up and over for a leg. So this would be kind of like his knee area. And then I'm just gonna kind of make a little curl here that's gonna come around so his foot is kind of holding on to, we're gonna draw him on a little twig. And then for his front paw, I'm gonna do kind of the same thing. Just kind of squeeze it around and make a little line there to finish his body. And then we're gonna draw in this little branch that he's holding on to. Before I do that though, I wanna add one more shape right here. I wanna add a little curved line. That's gonna be his other hand kind of holding this branch. So now I'm gonna go, let's go down like right here. And I will come through his leg and go down. And I'm gonna stop, cause I'm gonna bring another branch over I think and I'm gonna come up and see where I can go up through his face and up off my paper and then I'm gonna kind of double up that line I don't want to make it super thick field mice are really teeny tiny um, but I do want it to look like he is holding on to it so I do need to give it a little bit thickness there and then I'll drop it down off my paper so this parts up not off my paper and this part goes off my paper. So I'm gonna add his little foot over here. So now we've got both of his arms and his feet holding on to the little twig. And then we're gonna add in his tails. Let's give him a nice little mouse tail, nice and long, thicker at the base towards his body and thinner as you get towards the tip of the tail. Look how cute he is. And then I'm gonna add just another little thing here. Maybe he's hanging on like a flower or something in the garden. So 
So I'm gonna double that up. And then you could add a flower here. You can do whatever you'd like. I think I'm going to bring it out and kind of match up my lines and just add some little leaves. But you could totally do whatever you'd like there at the end of yours. And I'm just gonna add a couple little leaf petals there and you know maybe add like a bush over here maybe he's in the middle of a garden so add a little bush there all right so look at our little mouse we've got an adorable little field mouse he just needs some color so go ahead and grab your markers your crayons your colored pencils your paint whatever you want to color your little field mouse with and let's color this little guy Look at how cute our adorable little field mouse turned out. I know that they're kind of like a brownish gray, but I kind of like the little gray color. I think it gives him a little more of a mousy look. I hope you had fun doodling with me today. If you did, please like, subscribe, and share the video. And I cannot wait to see you again. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.